While all of Raider Nation's attention is understandably on the perceived battle between interim head coach Antonio Pierce and University of Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh for the Raiders head coaching vacancy, the Los Angeles Chargers have quietly made a move that could be disastrous for the Las Vegas Raiders. Tom Pelosero reports that the Los Angeles Chargers made a request to the Las Vegas Raiders to interview defensive coordinator Patrick Graham for their head coaching vacancy. Now, remember, the Chargers fired former head coach Brandon Staley after the Raiders' historic beatdown of the Chargers on Thursday Night Football. Now, a team requesting an interview of another team's defensive coordinator really isn't giant news all by itself, but this could be disastrous for the Raiders if an AFC West foe is able to pickpocket the Raiders' secret weapon, Patrick Graham. Let me explain. The Raiders' defense has been a disaster for two decades. Not since the first John Gruden stint years ago has the Raiders' defense been elite. A long line of very unsuccessful Raiders' defensive coordinators include Rob Ryan, John Marshall, Jason Tarver, Ken Norton Jr., Paul Gunther, and Gus Bradley, they all failed to get the Raiders' defense to not even elite, just even semi-competitive. The Raiders' defense has been so historically bad. ESPN even named the Raiders' worst defense of the decade, and rightfully so. But all that changed under second-year defensive coordinator Patrick Graham. Following a stint as DC for the New York Giants, Josh McDaniels and Dave Zeeler were able to lure him over to the Raiders. Now, after a, a rough first season, the defense really started to take off the following year with the silver and black. During the 2023 season, the Raiders had 46 sacks, 12th in the league, gave up 212 passing yards per game, also 12th in the league, only gave up 330 yards per game, that's 15th in the league, and amazingly, only gave up 19 and a half points per game, that's ninth in the NFL. The Raiders had a legit top 10 defense for the first time in two decades. And that's just the entire season. Once Antonio Pierce took over after the Raiders fired Josh McDaniels, the defense then really took off. From week nine through week 16, the Raiders were sixth in takeaways, fifth in sacks, and number one in the NFL in penalties, defensive touchdowns, and the most important defensive statistic of all, points per game. Now, Antonio Pierce rightly received a lot of credit for the Raiders turning things around midseason, but the defense was already starting to turn under Patrick Graham's leadership. Make no mistake, getting the Raiders to field a top 10 defense after decades of ineptitude and only spending less than 21% of their cap space on defense is nothing short of a miracle. Think about that. The Raiders ranked 31st in defensive spending and still fielded a top 10 defense. Now, in fairness, Patrick Graham has shown no sign that he wants to leave the Raiders. In fact, he said exactly the opposite. Here's Patrick Graham towards the end of this season. I told the guys the other day, and I'm not going to get emotional, I promise you that. But <laughs> I've had the most fun this year coaching this group of players than I had in my whole career. Plain simple. I should also mention, and it helped matters a lot, that he wasn't even in the top nine defensive candidates for head coaches in the NFL, according to Fox's Jay Glazer. Now, in fairness, a lot of teams interview a lot of head coaching candidates. The Chargers also requested to interview Cowboys Dan Quinn, Rams Raheem Morris, 49ers Steve Wilkes, Lions Ben Johnson and Aaron Glenn, Ravens Todd Monken, and they're also rumored to be favored to land Jim Harbaugh, who's at the University of Michigan. Not only are the Chargers poised to steal the secret weapon of the Raiders, Patrick Graham, who's able to turn the Raiders' biggest deficit, biggest hole in their game, and turn it into their greatest strength, they would also add him to their roster. So it's a double whammy. We're losing our defensive coordinator and they're gaining a great, potentially a great head coach. So fingers crossed that the Chargers are only kicking the tires on Patrick Graham and don't fully try to pursue him because if the Raiders lose Patrick Graham, they could easily lose their brand new top 10 defense before they've had a chance to even really show off what they've got. Hey, hey, you made it to the end of our video. Great job. I know you want more. Go ahead and click the next video. And if you're feeling crazy, go ahead and subscribe.